What's the secret, do you think? Why are we all behind this wonderful you know, exploration of the 60s and the human condition? Um, I think it's the writing. I think the characters are really complicated, um, fleshed out interesting characters, um, and that's it all that it comes down to, really. I think that the fact that it takes place in the 60s makes it more visually interesting, and we're reminded of things and situations and um, fashions and, and things from that time, and that makes it it adds another uh, layer, but I think it comes down to just these these characters and the fact that it's written so well. It's just, it's just a testament to the writing because the characters are from a different time period, but we do still relate to them. How much do you think uh, Matt brings into as the showrunner and the creator brings into this incredible show? Well, he is everything. I mean, he's there for every audition, every wardrobe, every, you know, is there for writes the scripts, um, he's there on set looking at each little piece of fruit. I mean, he is he is Mad Men, and without him, um, there would be no Mad Men. So he is everything. He's the heart. What, how much have you learned from your character and all these years being in this world? Um, well, I've learned a lot just, just the process of doing a television show where we, you shoot, you know, uh, 50 to 60 pages and very short amount of time. It's been sort of an acting school and just um, memorization and learning things and going basically on instinct and not having a lot of rehearsal time and um, at all. So, um, and I've just learned, you know, just to embrace the the human flaws and insecurities that that woman. I mean, I've kind of grown into being a woman in the nine years or so that we've been doing this. So, I mean, I've learned a lot about myself and. Um, but I've also learned a great amount of empathy for Betty and for women and what they were dealing with then. Uh, through your work, you have become part of a group uh, that are changing culture in a way through television. Mm -hmm. How much do you think uh, Mad Men has changed the way we attach to beautiful stories and the way we become addicts in a way? Do you think we are addicts? or? Um, well, I just think the quality of TV has grown so much, and I think Mad Men was part of that movement in the very beginning, and um, some of the best writing that's happening in general in movies and TV is happening on cable television, and uh, I think that that they're, they're not many, many, many episodes. I think that because they're cut down into 10, 13 episode seasons that it's easier to become addicted and crave for them to come back and... Um, but I, there's just so many wonderful writers and directors and actors that are doing TV because there's so many more chances being taken in television. My last question, uh, when you watch a show, which show would you watch on TV and if you're following any shows right now at home? Um, I watch, uh, I love Veep and um, I have very little time to watch TV so it's usually the half hour programs or just reality TV that I don't have to pay much attention to. Um, but there's so much good stuff on there that I need to catch up on.